all these uh, files are here to calculate the genetic algorithm in deeply so movie next and uh, here in this file we are going to load the uh, resg.mat that is stored uh, that is that is storing the best value ever we have get and I tell you that there are three variables power loss with DG stability index and V that is stored in that file here you can see stability index power loss is V D1 D1 is not actually used here that is a different thing oh, sorry uh, so, uh, this is for the Egan value and that is here Egan value so uh, then we have a comparison of figure and uh, here you can see without DG we have output only V let me open the file without DG and that is V just check it out what is V actually display power loss without DG and stability index without DG uh, uh, display when it execute and uh, it's safe power loss is at each bus so V is here volt, volt VEL that variable is here in the end uh, volt VEL that is here and the V that we get from the DG implementation that is here and that represent here and then we have a, a graph comp uh, comparison between them and I hope so uh, you will execute all the things uh, just uh, let me tell you something if you want to know how the process is uh, so pole direct what is doing that uh, that is uh, we have uh, uh, in before I say to you that when I uh, run the resistance reactan uh, reactance value bus line data and uh, then in the admit file we have all the values in uh, 12 columns uh, sorry 14 columns 14 rows and there is uh, iota in the numbers I mean complex numbers and pole direct is going to um, f uh, calculate the complex numbers I mean into magnitude and theta so this file is for that that is not part of uh, that is part of load flow analysis this is not a part of genetic algorithm so if you want to know how one file is working just uh, let me open this file and uh, let me click here and uh, let me continue button so here is come here so pop here just click on that and pop have very large values and here is F so let me click on the step button just nf is introduced open this file and that is 17 so in the next step uh, we have causes we have knobs so on every iteration just uh, take a look at, at that values how this algorithm is changing the values then you can easily understand what is going on here so I th think so this will uh, this will help uh, you a lot and uh, thanks for your attempt to co uh, connect us and still if you have a question I'm here to answer you and uh, thanks for watching uh, you